your cybersecurity solution is here. Introducing Pentester's Advanced Cybersecurity Suite. Ready for peace of mind? Try it for free. No credit card required. Pentester.com. We know the scene from the movies, but how did Neil personally take being a pair so for plus? You know, um, he was okay with it from what I understand. I mean, you know, he was old school, Ma, you know, old school, the boss is the boss is the Gambino Captain John Giordano, also known as Handsome Jack. He was a captain in the Gambino family. You know, I knew him. Um, I knew him from when I was a kid. You know, I met him very young when I first started going to the Raven Night with my father. I met him at the Raven Night in the early 70s. He was not up. He, he wasn't even straightened out yet when I met him because the books were closed. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Reform Gangsters. Um, and if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Also, it'd be great to become a Patreon member. The membership start at five dollars. Um, a lot of private content on there, and uh, we get to speak to each other privately. Also, excuse my appearance this morning. I just came back from the gym. As you can see, I haven't shaved, shaved yet, and I'm drinking a protein drink, so I may have a white mustache at times. So, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to stay young. So I have a poll here from the Super Bowl about, uh, well, we all know who won, the Chiefs won, and, and the poll was very close before the game. It was 56% Chiefs and 44% 49ers. Um, you know, it's a shame that the coaches, you know, I watched it even with the, the Lions. I, you know, I lived in Michigan, and I have really good friends there, and I feel sorry for them because that coach, let's be real, that coach is a moron. You know, I don't care what anybody says. Uh, you know, you got to kick field goals in games like that. But I, mean, I think he cost the, the Lions a chance of going to the Super Bowl. Um, and the Chiefs got lucky in overtime because I don't understand how a coach could not know the rules and do what he did. That was amazing. Thank God I don't own them teams because I would have flipped out. Um, I have another poll here about Valentine's Day, which passed. Do you like Valentine's Day? 74% of the people said no. 26% said yes. I guess, I don't know, maybe uh, people don't like to spend money. I don't know. I, I always enjoyed Valentine's Day when I had a Valentine. So, you know, um, and as a matter of fact, I actually sent somebody flowers. It's Valentine's Day, but, you know, I, I don't want to reveal any names, right, at this point. Uh, so I enjoy it. I like putting smiles on people's faces. Um, I want to give a shout out to Paulie Peeps from Chicago. Clean and sober since September of 18, September 5th. Uh, congratulations. Uh, that's a big accomplishment. Um, also, OC Shorts did a video on the Sopranos. A boss doesn't wear shorts. Um, I never saw John Gotti in shorts. My father used to wear shorts. Uh, Tony Lee used to wear shorts. You know, when we had barbecues and stuff, but I never, um, I never saw Neil in shorts. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I always saw him in suits and ties. But yeah, they wear shorts. That's 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 um, you know, that's uh, and 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 bosses don't go see therapists either. So let's you know, let's put you know, talk about you know the Sopranos. You know, put them in perspective. That was all bullshit. We know the scene from the movies, but how did Neil personally take being a pair so for boss? You know, um. He was okay with it, from what I understand. I mean, you know, he was old school, Ma, you know, old school. The boss is the boss is the boss. And, you know, and you can listen to the tapes. You know, you, the, whatever the boss says goes. And he respected Carl. And Carl wanted Paul to be the boss. And, and, and Neil, you know, took a back seat, you know. And people got to understand, too, why, you know, Neil probably didn't want the aggravation. He was making tons of money. He was happy where he is. He had plenty of power. Paul wasn't going to tell him what to do regardless. So, you know, he was in a good position. People around him were more upset than him, I believe, because it held them back. 
what positions did you and Albert, my brother, play when play in, when we played baseball? Well, my brother was an infielder. My brother played second base and shortstop, and I played center field. Um, my brother was a much better ball player than me. Um, he was he was uh, he was definitely a better athlete than me. But we, yeah, we played. I played center field. Uh, I was left handed, so I was limited. Uh, you know, to first base, I played some first base in center field, and my brother played second base and shortstop. When he was younger, he played second base, and as he got older and his arm got stronger, he became a, a shortstop, a really good shortstop. <laughs> Next month is St. Patty's Day. Do I have any comments about that? Um, you know, we never celebrated St. Patty's Day. You know, uh, my father never really was big on St. Patty's Day. We really never even went into Manhattan that day because, you know, the St. Patty's Day parade, a lot of people got drunk on that day in Manhattan. And so we never really ventured into Manhattan on that day. We stood, you know, around the neighborhood. But, you know, it's funny because my grandmother, who was born in Sicily, used to wear green on St. Patty's Day. And my father used to get sort of annoyed. You know, it was comical. She would come downstairs because she lived with us and she would have green on. And my father would tell my mother, why does your mother wear green? She's not Italian. She's not Irish. It used to annoy him I, you know, that she wore green. But uh, so that's another one. OK. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions about good looking Jack. Gambino captain John Giordano, also known as Handsome Jack. Um, he was a captain in the Gambino family. You know, I knew him. Um, I knew him from when I was a kid. You know, I met him very young when I first started going to the Ravenite with my father. I met him at the Ravenite in the early 70s. He was not up. He, he wasn't even straightened out yet when I met him because the books were closed, um, which I met all of them. Really, when they weren't straightened out, you had John, Angelo, Jeannie, Jackie, the actor, good looking Jack, um, you know, a lot of people, Nikki, the guys around my father, and Tony Lee, Nikki, and Lenny. Um, so I knew them all before they got straightened out. He was always respectful, always cool, you know, always dressed up. Um, he got straightened out, you know. Um, I had one. Not, I never had a beef with him or nothing. But one, when when I had that incident with with uh, with uh, with Dom De Sailor with, with, with the Genovesis, which I talked about uh, at, at, on other shows, um, he was actually related to Dom De Sailor. And when they took me from Richie Gotti's club to the Ravenite, uh, Neil actually sent for him for Jack, Jackie, um, and made me tell him the story. And they were sort of in a, like, not that they didn't believe me, but they were surprised that Dom DeSailor did what he did, knowing that I was Fatty Andy's son. And, and knowing that, you know, friends sent me there, you know, John and Tony Lee sent me there, and that my father, Fatty Andy, was in prison at the time. So they were a little surprised that he, Jackie was surprised he did that. And, uh, but Neil made me tell Jackie the story, you know, um, and they sent for him pretty right away. After I told Neil the story, he sent for Jackie right away. So Jackie was with Joe Piney. Joe Piney was a powerful captain uh, in the Gambinos. They had a spot downtown. I believe they had a restaurant. Joe Piney had a restaurant that he hung out in. The, the, Tommy A., who later on became my father's partner, he was in that regime. Another crazy fuck, Tommy A. Um, matter of fact, I was just listening to some tapes of his screaming on the phone. He's the guy that got my father jammed up in Florida with Joe Dogs. That's the guy with the bingo horse. So that was Jackie's um, regime, Joe Piney. Um, big owner. I get, I, you know, I'm sure they were all into drugs selling because Joe Piney was a known heroin trafficker. I mean, he did he did a bid for that, um, you know. Um, so uh, they always had a lot of money. Um, when John became the boss, John made him a captain. Joe Piney got a, a elevated to one of the three positions in the very beginning when Paul Castellano was murdered. Joe Piney was on the, you know, was, I believe maybe he was the council year at a time or on the boss until he got arrested and they made Jackie a captain. Um, you know, and he was always good. I always liked him. I always got along with him. And then, uh, you know, unfortunately he was shot and crippled and he winded up in a wheelchair, which was, you know, a terrible incident. And, uh, but he was a gangster, you know, he was a gangster. He was well-respected, had a great reputation. Um, always at the Ravenite. He was always at the Ravenite. 
If you're enjoying my show, please join my Patreon. Ask your questions live. And please uh, join my Patreon at reformgangsters.com. So I just came back from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I had a great time. It's really a cool city. Um, it was way better than I than I thought. I want to thank Bill, uh, the the uh, the of the proffer. Um, I had a great time. I want to thank all the people I met. I also want to give a plug out to to to, to the outside uh, outsiders museum. I went to actually where they filmed the outsiders, which was really cool. Um, uh, I was on Route sixty six. Um, it was really, it was really, I really had a good time. Uh, the event was really good. You know, there was about 60 or 70 people there, you know, asking questions, taking pictures, uh, greeting me. It was, it, was, it was a fun time. I also want to thank, thank Fox News. I was on Fox 23, which was really cool. That was my first experience in like a real, not, I mean, I have been in professional settings, but, you know, it was weird because it was like on TV, you know, when you see like a newsroom on in a movie, you know, like um, Succession, which was a really big hit show that I loved. And when you watch Succession and they were on the floor of the of the newsroom, all the desks and the cameras and that big, big room that they hung out in, that they that was where I was and it was, it was really cool to, to be there because I only ever saw that on TV and now I was actually in the room. So yeah, I, I had a really good time um, in Tulsa. I would go back again. I mean, I wouldn't live there, but I, I would definitely visit. When I was driving around, I was thinking of that, you know, like people in the witness protection program, I'm sure they stuck a few people there. I wish they would have stuck me there. I mean, even though Idaho was beautiful where I was in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho was gorgeous. Um, I probably would have had a better time in, in Tulsa. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Reform Gangsters. And please don't forget, if you like my content, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Also, be great if you became a Patreon member. And also, don't forget, go to my store. I have some merch, my hats, my shirts, my mugs. You know, purchase some merch. I got new Fat Andy t-shirts that are really cool. Um, check them out.